what comes of it. Lots going so low. The upper as well has to flash back. It's pretty sketchy to start this off really and with the flash for the roots and look at that acre punch field to Yoppa but maybe it's not enough as Shinigari is traded and Partizans again on the flank punishing the push and Sniller can take the form of the You have a Viego and Alessandro to key off each other to roam around the map just like the Vi and the Ari did if they ever get one kill just with the combination of the passive and the ulti of Viego you just get the ball rolling again and then Lundorf now actually gets more carry potential with the Gwen he's had an amazing Gwen uh, game already this if all LFL teams are free loss in the EMEA so see if it changes anything who knows Ooh, this could actually Shiganari there still up with a gank angle with the summoners, pretty low right now, goes for the zap for some reason and does instantly lose the cleanse, flashes now, one hit from dead, can Yoppa find it, boomerang, blade for the first blood, that flash. That league as well, he stranded on third place in his first season, which is definitely nothing to be, um, yeah, to, to go over lightly, I mean, K Corp yeah. and Vitality P didn't even make playoffs, Ooh, yeah. Huntera. On by the charm and the quickness, and there's a follow up from Rilla that we've been flagging up. Yoppa gifted the kill. Eiffel with the shockwave finds him, but doesn't have the damage yet to make it stick and actually flashes away. Very yeah. good play from Partisans, and this is what Dogda kind of alluded on on the desk was like the issue was vision control in the late game. Do you fix it with getting your AD carry back in? Apparently, not right now. Partisans ahead of the play, but Aegis, they kind of want to contest this. Rilla on the flank again, and there's the full engage onto the mid lane and the bot lane as Shiganara flashes away, Lundov searching for him. As Lissandra Ignite will pick it up, he'll get the mid laner too. Jungler is down, Snilla didn't make it out, but Skewmond as well. It's the triple kill, in fact, for Lissandra as Lot now. Really awkward, and you're actually losing control. But then if I pump my brakes and I look at the scoreboard, well, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but the gold lead is not there for uh, Partisans. <gasps> Ooh, hook onto Clocks, cancels the W as well, and there's the Chompers, there's the Fox, there's the Rocket coming out, and Shiganari picks up his first kill of the game. And they were punished more heavily than we would normally see by Partisans in game one, as Lundok will get one turret back, and Fai's heading down, Pantera as well in the river. And it'll be tricky for Lundorf to squirm his way out of this 3v1, when, of course, does have the Rift Maker, can pull off miracles at times, gets away from the Decimating Smash, but the shields are down, into the mist, and really no damage has been dealt by Lundorf to anyone else. <laughs> he stopped well, yeah, but you still have like 0 0.5 seconds of it. <laughs> yeah. That's when, when you think he's not going to take it when they're engaging on you, and like, oh, it's fine. And then he appears and ults you, and you're like, oh, come on now. <laughs> I'm sure I had that one. As Aegis not playing with time themselves, they're straight onto the Baron. We've seen this from last game as well. Lundorf's pretty far away, Rilla too. And Shiganari doing the damage, Clock's caught up again. Look at the ult committed and the Rakan <laughs> falls. Yoppa with the spell shield, gets away to just start it up. Yeah, real TP was the only objective there. Uh, the advantage for Partisans is now gone. It, I think he could have waited on the TP a bit more, um, but Partisans really don't want to throw this game in. I mean, winning this game puts them in EMEA Masters main stage. It would be huge for the region, it would be huge for the players, and you would upset LFL third seed in the way there, so I understand earring on the side of caution there, TPing in early, but it, that was exactly the plan of Aegis. The moment the TP comes in, they disengage because that's all they wanted. Now the advantage on the map is a bit gone, but Lundorf's TP came back, so they can just repeat the same play, put Lundorf in the bot side. Well, uh, he's used his E already and he gets knocked up. He has to use the ult to save himself if he even gets a chance. Goes Golden, and now there's no question for Partizan's Clocks goes in deep for the quick getting Lundorf with the needlework, slices through Aegis, and it was Rilla who presented himself as the target, probably not intentionally, but it worked. But you see how hard it is to actually find an engage. Like, the comp partisans draft around is so beautiful that no member you try to target with the Vi or the Sion is instantly in trouble. Vi can smite away the spell shield to try to get that engage off on Sivir, but Joppa hasn't been out of position that much, so they need to use the Sion ult, and the Sion ult just doesn't do anything against Sivir. And I know partisans want to fight this, they wanted to fight this last time, and now it's a soul point. Oh, they're looking for Rilla again, they found the stun of the Vi ultimate, but does he get a chance? He's shut down! No buttons allowed to be pressed, this time it works out, and Partizans finally put it. He was on that side last time, in the last dragon fight, right? That's where he was sitting, and this time they had it warded, this time they were ready. They learned, they adapted, and they got the dragon. They might even turn this into the Baron. Rilla's still 10 seconds dead with the TP up, but does he have time? Yoppa's on the front line, he's gonna have to pull some of this ricochet magic. Or maybe Snilla needs to fight. Swaying for a steal. The Baron going away. Could be disastrous for them. It's picked up by Aegis. 
Goes up in the front line. There's the space for the fight. And now Rilla CP in for the flank. Maybe they can turn this around. Move with the three man route. It was the ult as well. Shiganari is way into safety. Still got summoners, but Aegis are not going to get out cleanly here. Lindorf searches for more. Grabs Aka and it's three buffs down. But still. Still a CP. I'm looking for flank wards. There's only one there that is really comfortable. Into the box, but there's nothing else comes to it. Lots going so low. The offer as well has to flash back. It's pretty sketchy to start this off. Really, in with the flash for the roots. And look at that acre punch onto Yoffa. But maybe it's not enough as Shinigari is traded. And Partizans again on the flank, punishing the push. And Snilla can take the form of the AD carry. They don't need Yoffa anymore because they've got Shinigari's soul. It's him now. That's crazy. That is, if anything's mental boom for Aegis, that's got to be it. How was that allowed to happen? How was there no defense to be mounted? Aika has to TP back into the base, but this means Hantera has been left on his lonesome to be picked apart in this one it's versus two. It's not going to be quick, but it is going to happen. Shiganari currently catching mid. Vi's on the recall as well. So we've got four versus five. with the mount Aegis at the time, they're just making sure that Aegis don't really find an opening, don't really find the engage they need. We're calling in the TPs, we can't give over Elder, that's the call right now. And Aegis, they are mustering up everything they have left, they can't lose this game. It would be such a bad day for them, it would be such a blemish on the record of the LFL. And all they just need to do is find the right fight with this front-to-back 5v5 team fight. but look where Lundov is already. His flank is already set, and Aegis, they have to choose between a rock and a hard place right now, and they just don't know what to do. To at least have a ward in the Rilla brush. They won't be able to get flanked from that angle, but Lundorf is behind them and they're moving in. Zilla goes in, plunges onto Skumont. Rilla heads in into a flash, finds the stuns against Shiganari. Lundorf diving forward for Jinx, he flashes over the wall. It's a big Orion ultimate, and Aegis are fighting back somewhat. It's one for one just now. They fight the second. Have they managed to stabilize as Yoffa takes big damage from the rockets? Rilla and Yoffa splashing from Skumont. They find the shutdown and Rilla's back here, but he goes golden. Now Snilla in the camouflage. Can he find anything? Can he do this job? Shutdown picked up from Shiganari. And Aegis find the fight they need at the jaws of defeat. They will push Partizans back. No catch Snilla in this river. Now this is a one versus two that Viego could definitely win, but the Elder is now there. The threshold makes this a lot harder as Jinx Rocket lands true. The ace for Aegis, and they are not done yet. Ooh, Aegis, they really, really needed that to happen. They really needed to keep themselves alive in this best of three, and they kind of did it there with a beautiful front-to-back team fight. It was hard for the Partisans. They kind of found the right window, but don't overstep here. Partisans are respawning. Aegis, they know that they're in the ropes. They know they want to finish this game, and with the Elder buff, they think they're strong enough in the base of the Partisans to actually finish the job. Missing Hargus Shiganari, they're going full hit. Lost Tonks goes to knock up Sundos of the Fountain, but they can't stop it, Dino. After all that, Partisans had it in their grasp, but Aegis will snatch it back. They came so close.